Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day today. The Ikoria release is Friday, May 15th, and I thought it might be kind of fun to open up some boosters and see what we get. Um, first of all, I want to show you the Buy a Box promo card. This is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. It's a uh, really nice looking card, and I really like the art on it. Um, also, there are some box toppers that come with each booster box. Uh, <clears throat> I opened up the uh, the prize uh, booster boxes so that I could uh, divide up the packs for the for whoever buys pre-release kits. Because if you buy a pre-release kit, you're going to get two boosters with it. Uh, since we are not holding an actual in-store event this time, um, one of the uh, Box toppers that I got was Rodan, Titan of Winged Fury, which is a really nice looking card. Um, another one that I got was Godzilla Prime Evil Champion. And then finally we got um, King Caesar Ancient Guardian. Um, one thing I will note is that... Uh, uh, and this is a little disappointing, although I think if you put this card in a binder or something, and, you, and it, it will eventually work its way out. Some of the box toppers I have heard and, ha and have experienced with this one, that the card is bent. Because what is happening is the box topper is actually falling down on the side just a little bit. Um, instead of laying flat on top of the boosters. So we do get... We are seeing some of these that are like this. Um, if you get a get a booster box like this from me, where the box topper is like this, uh, we can get a hold of Wizards of the Coast and we can see about getting a replacement. I also opened uh, one of the Collector's Edition booster packs earlier and I uh, put that uh, picture out and I thought I might show these cards here in this video as well. Um, we ended up with a Space space Godzilla Death Corona. Uh, Trumpeting Gar. Cloud Piercer. Um, I, I can barely read the name on that one. Illuminant Apex of Wishes, I think. Cavern Whisper. It's a nice looking island there. Foil Island. Sleeper Dart. Of One Mind. Divine Arrow, Whisper Squad, Regal Leosar, Necropanther, and Frontier Warmonger. We also ended up with a Titan's Nest and a Cat Token. So that was the Collector's Booster Pack. So what I have here is I have two pre-release boxes that I'm going to open, and then I have a booster box itself that I'm going to open, um, along with the box topper on it. Yep, there's the box topper. This one is in pretty good shape. So yeah, what I was saying is some of them seem to be getting caught down in here, and so it's bending them. Uh, we're going to do the pre-release kits first. Been down. So our pre-release card is Offspring's Revenge. Um, here is a um, the code card that has been coming in all the pre-release kits so far. Hmm, some tokens. This is new. Interesting. All right, and we have six booster packs. And I'm just going to kind of run through the cards here. Um, I don't think I need to name them all. If you want to see a particular card, you can pause the video and look through it. 
I really like this art style. Lauren Draxus. Interesting. Ooh, I like the art on that. That is a companion token. <clears throat> Split these out here. Okay. The arrow. That's kind of nice. Humble nature naturalist. Um, so basically a human druid that you can tap for mana, that's kind of nice. Cloud Piercer. <clears throat> Glowstone Recluse. Okay, so there's a mutate ability, and then it has reach. Hmm. Mythos of Vadark. Interesting. Deals 5 damage to if you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. Okay. So that doesn't attack players. Dinosaur token. A different cloud piercer. Will of the All Hunter. Clash of the Titans. Zagros Crystal. And then for my rare Kurga, Kur, Kur, Kuruga, the Makaraz. I'm probably pronouncing these extremely terrible. Bloodfell Caves. Okay. That was in the land slot. <clears throat> Lava Serpent. And Sarel. Neutralize, basically another counter spell. Sprite Dragon. Nice. Bird Beast. Porcu parrot. Oh no, a porcupine and a parrot. Yep. Oh, and here's one of those basically triple lands. Regurin Triome. So, island, mountain, and the plains. Nice. I like that. Put that over there. And a nice human soldier token. <clears throat> 
anticipate Master Step Regal Leosar. Nice art on that. Rugrin Crystal. <clears throat> An unpredictable cyclone. Interesting. Sabai Crystal. An artifact. In a Thornwood Falls. Prickly Marmoset. Proud Wild Bonder, Dire Tactics, Archipelagor, Oliphiacin, Bonder's en Enclave, Got a Foil Essence Scatter, Counter Target Creature Spell, Got a Forest in another token. And that is our first uh, pre release pack. Now we're going to open up our second one here. <coughs> Ended up with a black spin down die. tokens and our pre-release promo card is Mrs. of Ardock. I do like the, the art on this. It's almost like a you know I want to say like a cave painting picture but maybe a little bit more advanced and our next six packs here. <coughs> Pacifism. I like pacifism. It can be kind of a pain in the butt card, though. Blister Spit Gremlin. Weaponize the monsters. Second person creature weaponize the monsters. Deals two damage to any target. Interesting. That could be nice for a goblin deck. Hint, hint. Ominous Seas. Missos of Barocus, another cave painting art type thing. Ooh, a foil migratory great horn. And a blossoming sands. Human soldier token. Mand Servo, another one of those. Humble Naturist, Mute, Mutal Destruction. Hmm. Raking Claws, Territory Gains, Double Strike until end of turn. Now that could be useful. Footfall Crater. Skull Prophet, Heartless Act, 
Missos of Luna. I'm kind of liking these the art on these missiles cards. There's a swamp and a dinosaur. Spontaneous flight. Okay. Convolute. Mysterious egg. Whenever this creature mutates, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. Corpse churn. Wallow Hole, Grim Dancer, Civil Crystal, and a Cub Warden as our rare. Some more Bloodfilled Caves and uh, an Ad Card. <coughs> Go for blood. So if you don't control cycling, okay. Anticipate Mystic Sub Duel Bastion of Remembrance. Create a one-on-one -on -one white human soldier creature token. Whenever you a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Ooh. Laturi the Spell Chaser. Interesting. And a Scoured Barons. Getting lots of those. Mystic's Duel, Zenith Flare, <coughs> General's Enforcer, and a Titan's Nest. Oh, pump the camera. And I put those cards in the wrong place. Let's fix that real quick. Mountain. Okay. Drama straight. Oh, there are some uh, tokens in that one. Snare Tactician of One Mind. Migratory Great Horn. Valiant Rescuer. Sonorous Hellbonder. Archipelago, Whirlwind of Thought. You know, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. Ooh, Albish the Prey Piercer. That is a nice looking card. And then a Tranquil Grove. So no Mythic so far in, in either of those uh, pre-release packs. 
Okay, so now we have our booster box that we're going to open. Oops. Alright, so I'll go ahead and open the box upper first because I know that you guys want to see that. And it is, ooh, a foil space Godzilla Death Corona. Nice. That makes two of those I have. One of them's non foil though. I like the Godzilla cards in the set. I know some people don't. I, I see them as being no different than any other alternate art card. And it's it's like the name of the card that it actually represents is, is here, so it's like not really preventing you from using a card. It's just different art. Uh, these are these backwards. There's a NAD card. They are backwards. I noticed this in a previous set. So Jungle Hollow is the land. Alert Heed Bonder is the foil. Labyrinth Raptor is the rare. Unbreakable Bond. Escape Protocol. And flame spill. Those are uncommons and rares in that pack. And then here are the commons. This pack doesn't want to cooperate. All right, so I'm going to turn this around a little bit so that we can see the commons first. Token. Scoured Barons is our land. Ooh. Zagos Triome. Nice. Okay, and then our uncommons. Our Valiant Rescuer. Necro Panther. And Frill Scare. S Scare Mentor. Okay. Alright. And of course, we have to get one of these. I mean, for some reason, there has to be one of these in every set, almost. I, I My disdain for this card has no limits. Don't get me wrong, Involving Wilds is a good card to have in a draft environment or a limited environment. Um, you know, it, it's mana fixing. I just don't feel like it needs to be in almost every set of magic. There are so many of them out there. 
that it should be easy enough for people to get a hold of them. They don't need to be in sets. Uh, Boon of the Wish Giver. Migration Pass and Grim Dancer are rare in there. Was a uh, Hunted Nightmare. Fully grown. Bloodfell Caves. Foil Island. Catch a Triome. Nice. I like the art in that one too. Fight as one. Oh, majestic oracorn. Hmm. That gives me some ideas for a D&D adventure. Back for more. Um, sometimes. Survivor's Bond. Swift Water Cliffs. All Brush, the Prey Piercer. It's our rare. Idassa Crystal. Rooting Moloch. In Channeled Force. It's an additional cost to cast this spell. Discard X cards. Target player draws X cards. Channeled force deals X damage to to up to one target creature or planeswalker. Interesting. So up to one. Does that mean you can choose zero? You can choose not to have it deal the damage? Is that a thing? Planes! A foil Volcapet. And there is a Narset of the Ancient Way. That is a nice looking planeswalker. That's our first Mythic in this box. Tetra Crystal, Monstrous Step, and Archipelago. And then we'll just run through the commons here real quick. I'll be honest, I haven't looked to see what all the things are in this set. Set. <laughs> Perfect. We get a token to go with our set. Swamp. Zirda the Dawnwalker. Red and white. Charge of the Forever Beast. Green Crystal. In Jubilant Skybonder. Unlike it, he aid. Pyroceratops. That's an interesting looking dinosaur.
Dismal Backwater. Jim Razzer. Sanctuary Lockdown. Hmm. Footfall Crater. And Dire Tactics for our uncommons. Shark! A mountain token. Offspring's Revenge. In Amari the Collector. Hmm. Each non land card in your starting deck shares a card type. Is Amari the Collector in the battlefield shares a card type? Spells you cast of the chosen type cost one less to cast. Interesting. Exuviant Wolf Bear. Reptilian Reflection. Chittering Harvester. Human token, tranquil glove, gr glove, grove, not glove. Kinian Bonder Prodigy, okay. Horn Bash Mentor, Sanctuary Smasher, and a Zenith Flare. Dinosaur token. Island. Genesis Ultimatum. Top five cards in your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. Exile Genesis Ultimatum. Okay, now that is just crazy. Why is that just a rare and not a mythic? I'm going to seize. Auspicious, auspicious Starix, Primal Empathy. Dinosaur Beast Forest Shark Typhoon Okay, so I ended up with a Sharknado. Yep, there there's a Sharknado. Storm Wild Capricure Lord Dracus Clash of Titans one more letter and they would have had a movie. Wow. There's some nice one. K 
Cavern Whisperer. That puts us at a third of the way to see this booster box. Karuga the Macro Sage Dinosaur Hippo Void Beckoner Saronis Halbonder and a Porky Barret. Ooh, that, I like the art on that. I really do. More gremlins. Have I not seen any goblins yet in this set? How dare they? Of course it could be I just haven't seen it. It wouldn't be the first time I don't I don't think it would be the first time that there was a set that didn't have goblins in it. Tranquil Glo Grove Glove. There I am seeing that glove again. Dreamtail Heron. Savai Triome. Looks like I've gotten three of those now. Three different ones. Easy Prey. Momentum Rumbler. And the Savai Sundermane. Luminous Brood Moss. Nice. Now, I think the alternate Godzilla art for that is actually, um, uh, gosh, um, I, um, Mothra. Why did I not think of that? Yes, that is Mothra. Well, Luminous Brood Moss. That is a Mystic Will of the All Hunter. Insatiable Hermophage and bon Boneyard Lurker. They have gremlins, but no goblins so far. Maybe that's the trade off. If there's gremlins, there's no goblins. Of course, goblins are kind of a small creature, so 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 are gremlins. And this set is all about giant creatures. Megafauna, wind scarred crag, Yorian sky nomad, hmm. Zagoros Crystal. Zagoros Mamba. Skull Prophet. Token, a swamp, regal Leosar, Laris the Dream Den, Cat Nightmare, Valiant Rescuer, Glowstone Recluse, and a Parcel Beast.
Rugged Highlands. Slither Wisp. Exuberant Wolf Bear. Mystic Subduel. Hunt Master Liger. Is that C3PO? Dreamtail Heron. Bloodfell Caves, Sea Dasher Octopus, Foil, Gem Razor, Weaponize the Monsters, and a Sabai Crystal. Extinction event. Choose odd or even. Exile each creature with converted mana cost of the chosen value. Zero is even. Nice. Flourishing fox. Ivy elemental. And splendor mare. Juggle Hollow Jen Gas Jen Jag Jaganas hmm. The Wellspring Interesting We have Bashing of Remembrance Reconnaissance Mission and the Sprite Dragon Whirlwind of Thought. Neutralize. Keen Sight Mentor and the Sprite Dragon. Keensight Mentor. Ruinous Ultimatum. Destroy all non land permanents your opponents control. Nice. That's uh, kind of mean. Barrier Breach. Call of the Death Dweller. Regal Leosaur.
Blast of Sins. Yidro Wandering Monster. Dinosaur Turtle. Avian Oddity. Proud Wild Bonder. And General's Enforcer. Dinosaur Forest Offspring's Revenge. Is that, that kind of like Revenge of the Nerds? We have a Titanos Rex, which I think, um, yeah, the Godzilla Primeval Champion. That's what that is. Wingspan Mentor. In Pouncing Shore Shark. <sighs> yeah. Yep, yep. Sharks that can climb on land. That's, that's not disturbing at all. We are now at uh, two-thirds of the way, or, or maybe a little bit more than two-thirds of the way through this box. Dismal Backwater. Ooh, Varduk. Apex of Thunder. Nice. And that's a Mythic. I like that. Regurian Crystal. Auspicious Starks. And a Necropanther. Dranus Magistrate, Migration Path, Clash of Titans, and Channeled Force. Thornwood Falls, Serrated Scorpion, Death Oasis. Hmm. That gives me another idea for a D and D adventure, or at least some uh, campaign ideas. We have a Storm Wild uh, Cap Rider. Charge of the Forever Beast and a flame spell. Oh no, I spilled my flames. Clean up in aisle three, we have a flame spill. Bring a fire extinguisher. Ahira, the Orphan Guard, Cat Beast. Hmm. Nice. Sanctuary Lockdown, Ketra Crystal, Archipelagor. Gotten a lot of those.
Quartzwood Crasher. Unbreakable Bond. Footfall Crater. Chittering Harvester. And we'll just toss that card away because we don't need it. Jungle Hollow, Mythos of Lumina, nice, Sanctuary Smasher, Dire Tactics, and Zenith Flare. You know, I have a whole stack of Evolving Wilds somewhere around here. So if anybody ever wants to play Flip It or Rip It, um, we can do that with my stack of uh, Evolving Wilds. Of course, I think pro probably if we actually did that, everybody would just rip it. Luria, the Spell Chaser in Foil. Classification. Um, yeah, we don't want to see a cat that big. Horned Bash Mentor, Escape Protocol, and Lore Drac Dracus. There's a nice looking forest and a foil plains. Koga, the Titan Ape. Now I think this one is actually Kong um, for the Godzilla series cards. I'm gonna seize, swallow whole, in Trumpety Nar. Thornwood Falls, Crystalline Giant. Dusk Fang Mentor, Heartless Act, Jubilant Skybonder, and another Revolving Wilds. I treat Evolving Wilds like this gold treats Diorite on Hermitcraft. Mountain. Mythos of Vardok. Var Var Vadrock? Vadrock. I'm seeing, the, seeing that uh, I'm putting the R and the D backwards. 
Reptilian Reflection, Polywog Symbiote, and Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. And here's our last pack. Scoured Barons. Chittering Harvester. Sea Dasher Octopus. Lead the Stampede. Alert Heat Bonder. And a frill scar mentor. Blazing volley. And another clear cloud piercer. All right, so before I close out this video, let's do a quick run through of the mystics and the un and the rares real quick. Um, Luminary Apex of Wishes was one of the mystics we got. We got an R set, Keenan Bonder Prodigy, Vardux Apex of Thunder, and Luminous Broodmoth. Those were our mystics. Now I'm not going to read these all off, but I want to go show these to you real quick. These are the rares that I got. Those are the promos. And these are the rares. Decent bunch here. Few foils, some some full arts, and some of the uh, ultimatums. Can't forget about the uh, Sharknado. Trilands look really cool. So those are our rares. And then of course our between our um, buy a box and box toppers um, and the collector's uh, booster we got some decent Godzilla cards. Pretty happy with those. I haven't decided if I want to try to get a full set of these or not. It would be really cool if I got them all, but I think there's like, if you include the Japanese language cards, I think there's like 18. So that is that. Here is the stack of uncommons that I got. Tokens. We did get the Narset um, emblem. And then commons. Some lands. Some dual lands. Or new new school dual lands, I should say. They're not like the, the really old ones that are worth a, worth a decent printing. Then we got a bunch of these. I'll have to figure out what these are for. I'm sure somebody can tell me. And then we got some garbage. Yep, we got some garbage. And that is our unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And now these cards will be available in store on Friday the 15th. Um, hopefully I'm going to have all these singles listed in our online store by, by no later than Saturday evening. Um, depends on how quickly I can get them sorted and, and, uh, and listed. Um, but that is the goal, is to get them out um, by, by the end of Saturday. Pre-release kits are available here in the store. Um, I don't really have any booster boxes left. I might have one. Um, but if you want a booster box, I can still get them. I can order them. Um, I have a few buy a box promo cards left of the Godzilla. So if you buy a booster box, then I, I will still give you one of the buy a box promo cards as long as I still have them available. Um, if you buy a pre release box, you'll get two boosters with it. So um, come on in and, and on Friday and uh, get some Icoria. Um, until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.